Well, some of the changes that people are happy with include amendments to protect someone who got pregnant from rape or incest and to protect the life of a mother going through a deadly pregnancy. There are two bills in the works, one allowing a person to have an abortion early on if the pregnancy is the result of rape or incest. Lorraine McGuire with the Sexual Assault Center says they support the bill with these amendments and are working on the bill with sponsors. I just feel very positive that there's so much great conversation coming across to learn more about what it's like from the victim's perspective and how can we be a community that comes around victims. McGuire emphasizes these amendments will allow victims to heal and gain some power back. I was wondering if Senator Hale had some time to do an interview with me this afternoon. We called the bill sponsor Senator Farrell Hale. His spokesperson says Hale is working on the bill to bring the best legislation forward. There's a second bill to change the affirmative defense, which criminalizes physicians who perform an abortion to save the life of the mother. Dr. Reagan Sag, OBGYN, says she has to deal with these types of pregnancies often. When they become emergent, it's bad. I mean, we've had some people who have... Um, passed away from maternal sepsis and from hemorrhage from an ectopic in our hospital this year. So it's, it, it's, the threat is real. Conservative commentator Steve Gill says these bills are very reasonable. About 900,000 abortions occur each year. Of that number, we're talking a, a thousand or less likely of abortions being because of rape or incest. So to me, it's always not made much sense to, to continue the fight. To save the life of a mother. A new bill could prevent private companies that cover gender transition medical care from being awarded contracts with the state. This would include those with, that are involved with Tennessee Care, the state's Medicaid program. The federal government funds the majority of TennCare, which provides health insurance to almost 2 million Tennesseans. New tonight, state Republicans are taking the first step towards some exemptions to Tennessee's tough abortion ban. Right now, a doctor who performed an abortion in our state, even to save a woman's life, could be charged with a crime. Now, they could defend that decision in court, but doctors say they shouldn't have to do that. There's also no exception for rape or incest presently. The proposed amendments address both. But Tennessee Right to Life is threatening to pull endorsements from any Republicans in our state who support them.